All right, it's the top of the hour right now. This is Weather Center Live. I'm meteorologist Chris Warren. And I'm meteorologist Leona Brackett. Today's big story, winter storm Benji, a 2,000 mile path of snow from South Texas all the way to Maine. And the bulk of the action right now, the bulk of the snow is in the south, but there's a, a sharp cutoff line between who's going to see some rain, who sees snow. And that yeah. is something that we're going to take a close eye on or close look at because when we, we look at this, Liana, I know. you can see it's a huge stretch. I mean, we're talking from already uh, parts of Louisiana, wrapping up there, mm -hmm. Mississippi, all the way up into the Northeast. But it's, what if you're right here? I know. You know, or right here. It's such a tough call. And I mean, that yeah. boundary line, that's what we're keeping a close eye on, and we're going to keep you updated on where it's at right now. But this is what's expected from now into tomorrow morning. So still quite a bit of rain or snow <laughs> still expected. And we have some new video showing the conditions from around eight. I mean, right. let's go that far, right? I mean, this winter storm is going to move up the coast in the next 24 hours. Places you're seeing here, including, uh, we're going to show you that in just a moment, but we'll see some decent snow amounts even in the Northeast. We're looking from now into Sunday morning. Richmond included Philadelphia, Boston, Bangor, closer to the almost a foot mark right there. Uh, five to eight inches and in some of the other purpley spots, those lighter purple areas. Um, but everyone else seeing at least one to three inches of snow. So this is the situation. As we get into tomorrow, we have several disturbances riding along this jet stream that's going to be picking up with those winds. This disturbance actually kind of settles offshore, and that's actually where it's going to be bringing in the moisture. It's going to wrap it around, bringing we already have that cold air in place. It's going to be overriding all that cold air, bringing in that chance of snow, uh, especially across the I-95 corridor. You're going to see that snow threat all the way through tomorrow. So starting 8 p.m. this evening, we'll watch as that snow rain line starts lifting up and kind of veering up. It will look Let's go ahead and put it in motion. Richmond, you'll be in the snow all the way into the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning by 5 a.m. Saturday. Now, New York, it's knocking at your front door. Philadelphia expects some snow as well as Baltimore, Boston, be prepared. It's going to be arriving by about 9, 10 a.m. And then by your lunch hour, by around noon, pretty much the entire eastern seaboard seeing some snow. To the south, we're still seeing some rain, but still, I mean, it kind of changes as we see that little wrap around and that colder air influencing the entire path. By 8 p.m., now much of it is across New England, but still New York, you're seeing almost a full day of snow before it really drops off. That's closer to 6 a.m. Sunday morning. So this is a, what we can expect. It even really just dries up as that just disturbance moves offshore, but still a few lingering snow showers in the across far northern New England. Chris, that threat for snow continues to push across the eastern seaboard. And again, in the overnight hours, you can't expect the possibility for some black ice, especially across the southeast. Uh, as we get into Sunday, things really dry up. Still very dry out west. Not the best news for the wildfires out there. 83 degrees for Los Angeles, but we still have that snow threat across the Great Lakes region as we get into Monday, as we see those temperatures really stay very, very cold 20 degrees for Minneapolis as we get into Tuesday 22 for Chicago and 42 for Boston watch as we'll still have that threat for snow and linger across New England as we get into Thursday things kind of die off just a little bit but we now start seeing the first signs of some lake effect snow developing and by end of next week by Friday still some snow across the Ohio Valley even some snow developing across the Pacific Northwest and straight ahead